Follow me. The princess will have my head for this. Whoa! That was close. What are you trying to do? See? Naughty, naughty. Just because the judges made you to believe doesn't mean you should make us go deaf. Bingo, you represent us poorly. I apologize, Lydia. I was just trying to call the committee to order. Why is Lady Ala always so harsh? You realize that the whole hour can hear you whisper, right? I can hear you, Oba. Hmm? Scary witch. We cannot wait for the others. Babaloaye, what have you gathered? Lord Bumba, I have carried out the research tasked to me by the Council of Judges. The world crumbles. Forgive me if I may impose, but hasten your speech, wise one. As you wish. Lady Allah, I shall give an abridged version of events starting from the beginning. This would give context to the younger ones among us. With the word came the light, which brought destruction in its purest form, a cleansing of the universe, life as quickly as it became aware of itself is eradicated, all was nothingness. The separation brings about the first battle ever to have existed. Once segregated, the opposite halves could not coexist, and each destroyed the other in an epic battle for survival. From the chaos, the echoes of the first word was weakened. This made it possible for the word to be separated into that which can be seen and that which cannot be seen. Matter began to structure itself into sentient governing entities. Each of these beings over time mastered and began to govern certain universal laws, stabilizing the chaos in most of the universe. The first being formed from the echoes naturally aimed at seeking and recording knowledge. The true essence of the world. The being reached the center of the universe and a doppelganger approached it. I am thought. What are you called? My name has not been spoken in eons. You could say it was lost with the universe before this. What are you? I am you. Or more accurately, you are me. All is me. I am the source of this universe. Thoth begins to ponder and mumble words to the hearing of his doppelganger, stumbling upon a name. That is what I will call you. Your presence has suited me, a gift 
For me to you, no being existing can know all I know. But to you, I have given the book. It contains all that is and all permutations of what will be. Your mind is the key, an index to all paragraphs. If you need to know it, you will find it. Before you ask, the book does not contain the word, for even I no longer know it. But the word still lives, it always finds its way to those who know how to use it. It has always existed, and I fear it will always exist. The doppelganger vanished like he never was. Thoth continued its journey across the universe as new beings were formed from the cosmic melody, which was dancing to the tune of the word. Within a few aeons, the first stars began to form. Then they died, but they weren't truly dead, as their remnants began to create the first planets. Beings begin to wake from their slumber. The Book of Thor, as it would be called, was delicate placed at a point in space. This acted as a pillar that supported the realm. This is the story that most of us know. But an unknown entity for mysterious reasons has decided that the very fabric of time and space would be better served plunged into chaos. Someone has stolen the book of Thor. Babaluai, surely you jest. How can something that is sealed by cosmic entities be moved from its position? It's impossible. Even if it has been stolen, it would require an unfathomable amount of energy, something which we would have all detected. No single being has that much power. The high god may wield such power. I will then speak what is in our mind. It is a Jew. He is the only one mischievous enough to... Or it could be the spirits. They are always looking for dangerous ways to go to the earth realm. How dare you blame us? Do you think we did this? What would we gain if our home is gone? This isn't your home. It has never been your home. Show respect in the presence of the judges. Exactly three millennia ago, Lord Asa roused an army of spirits and creatures in million strong in an attempt to retrieve the book and claim its knowledge and power for himself. Every single being in that army lost its life to the Kavya which is the guardian force of the book. Lord Isu only escaped with the left side of his body. He survived and now well healed. But the fact still remains that even a high god and an elite army could not conquer the Kaviya. What proof do you have that not only was the Kaviya breached, but the Book of Thought was moved as well? The book has enormous power and it is nigh impossible to remove. This much we can agree on. 
However, just because cosmic entities created its defenses does not mean they power it themselves. No one knows the extent of the damage Lord Eshu could accomplish before his exile. Moreover, what else could cause the realms to go into a cycle of destruction at the same time? What are your thoughts, Great Seer? Papa Doaye is right. The book of thought has been stolen. I knew it would be only a matter of time. Destruction! The realm is done! It's finished! Destruction powers will take all back to a time before creation like time reversed! Did anyone else miss that completely? What can we do? Move with the wave! You are all going to Earth. Most of you, anyway. Most? Too bad for some, eh? Who stole it? Tell us! Don't be silly. You know I can't see the book. It's bound by frozen time. How long before we get transported? Soon enough. I don't know why you are in a hurry. Once this place is destroyed, the Earth is next. I have said enough. You all can take it from here. Thank you for honoring our invitation, Lord Orumida. Be careful, children. Hard times are coming. What are those? Those are lizards. They are attracted to the sweet, pure energy of the Korean. Destruction is near. We must leave this place at once. This is in the end. We have all faced obstacles which, which we have scaled through. This will be one of them. As we go down to the earth realm, there will be chaos. Be steadfast. Protect the humans as you always have, and also protect yourself. We, the Council of the Judges, will get to the root of this problem, and those responsible for this will pay with their dead lives. We shall find and return the book to its rightful place. This I promise you.